What's up guys? It's the Spent Man. Woo! Coming to you from one of my little barns in the beautiful North Country. And what I'm doing today is showing y'all how we thresh out our dry beans. And I made a video about um, the perfect ideal survival bean, the beefy bean earlier and uh, I'm just now getting to threshing and winnowing them out in the winter time and I'm going to show you how we do it. Alright so this is how I thresh out my beans here guys. I got a yard long three foot section of threaded rod. I got some washers and nuts um, to affix about eight lengths of chain and um, it's powered by just a regular old drill and they're going to spin around in this good old bucket here from a big box store, popular guy with the name of L. So I get that five gallon bucket and the top, it's not a glory hole. I took this box cutter and I'm going to cut a, uh, I cut a three inch hole there and what we're going to do Let's load up this bucket with the unshucked beans. Gonna fill it about halfway up. So that'll do it right there. A little less than halfway filled up. So both of my chains will go to work on those. We get the top of that bucket on nice. Put it in a nice flat area on the ground where you can kind of hold it with your feet. And then we're going to get that drill and stick it in there. Alright, so I got this uh, cheap, affordable DIY threshing chain getting in there. And I want to get the bottom of that threaded rod to get beyond those beans and um, when you're threshing out beans you can wear a mask too. A lot of people are wearing them in supermarkets and when they're hiking out in the woods and stuff that's kind of silly but in this instance you could wear a mask so you don't get all the bean particulate in your lungs. Uh, so yeah buddy let's get to it. So we'll check out them beans. Looks like I did pretty good on them. Sometimes you gotta take a couple tries if there's a lot in there that aren't busted open. So them chains are spinning to knock the beans out of the husks or out of the pods right there. We're working on separating the wheat from the shaft, baby, the beans from the pod, and this seems pretty good. And I got two different buckets going on here, and um, one's threshed and one is unthreshed, and uh, we'll dump the threshed in there. We'll take a look at these beans, these beefy beans I was talking about all summer. I haven't got to see till right now and check them out, all those beautiful colors. We got black, um, orange, brownish. We got a nice uh, yellow one in there. So we have these beefy beans and um, they produce a bunch of different colors of delicious beans. So right when we get to work threshing these out and when we winnow, winnow them out um, in a little bit, We've already got ourselves a nice, pretty um, soup bean mixture just straight from the pods. All right, guys, now we are on to the winnowing process. And I have uh, my bin over here to my right that has my thresh beans in it. And um, I'm filling up buckets about halfway with all the, all the beans and uh, the chaff or the dried pods. 
And um, I got my box fan, and I got it propped up on some old paint cans. And uh, right here, I have this shorter bin. So you just kind of want to make it so the box fan is a little bit up above um, whatever container you're using on the bottom. I have a Tupperware container. So with threshing and winnowing, it's always good to have uh, a bunch of uh, buckets and containers around uh, to keep things sorted. And uh, yeah, this act is as old as time, as old as the ages. So I'm gonna crank up this fan. I'm gonna pour the beans and the bean huts and the dried bean pods right over there and we're gonna get it winnowing baby All right, so looky here, we got some nice separation there. We still got quite a bit of the beans that aren't broken up all the way. That's all right, but uh, we got some beautiful beefy beans here, and boy, am I getting excited. So when we're winnowing and uh, not all of the chaff is gonna just blow away perfectly and we can kind of just hang out and sort it by hand and crack the rest manually if we want or we can take the uncracked beans that still got beans in them off the top load them right back into that bucket and uh, fresh them again and this method uh, saves a lot of time some people will like put their beans or their grains that they grow in like a uh, pillow sack and club it to death with some sort of a blunt object. I find this method for threshing and winnowing to be uh, enjoyable and uh, it seems pretty efficient for small scale beans and grain growing. I've done it. Um, I've used the same method with wheat and barley, and it's worked out great. And uh, yeah, it's always cool to uh, realize you can be really productive on a small scale with grains too, not just vegetables. And uh, I got to say, it's really the most rewarding to grow your own staple crops, your own dry beans. It's really, really, really rewarding to grow uh, some wheat or some barley or some oats and to make your own beer. So with these simple methods that uh, uh, ingenious small scale growers come up with, and we gotta remember that all of these uh, tools that people are using, uh, people had to invent them like Elliot Coleman and these uh, wizards of market gardening uh, a lot of these guys invented their own tools um, because everything went large scale commercial and uh, so yeah small farming growing grains on a small scale in your garden farm or homestead it's doable you can do it cheap and uh, yeah it's pretty easy and it's also a lot of fun to uh, be doing this stuff in the winter time and getting excited about the spring while you're planning the next year. You get a little taste and uh, 
get excited and get positive about the possibilities of the future because that's what seeds are all about. If you save a seed, uh, whether it's for food or for eating, it's to believe in the future and to put an investment in the future. When you save seeds, you're at least admitting to yourself that you think the sun is still going to be out in the springtime. And uh, I think it will. And uh, yeah, buddy, I'm excited about these beefy beans. I'm going to have to uh, make another video about cooking these beans and tasting them. Because boy, am I excited.